close your eyes and watch your breath. Take a couple of good long deep in and out breaths so you have a clear feeling for the breath. And if it feels comfortable, keep on breathing that way. If not, you can change. Let the breath get shorter, more shallow, faster or slower, heavier, lighter, whatever you like. Ask yourself, what would feel really good right now? And let the breath go that way. All you have to do is just stay with it consistently. Because the mind needs a place to rest, and so giving it a good, comfortable place to stay allows it to rest. Why do we need to rest? Because we're running around all the time. When you're running around, one, you can't see much of anything clearly, and two, you don't have, you, you're using up your strength. So when the mind rests, it can gather its strength. And then when the time comes when you really need to use it, it's, it's ready. And as for seeing things clearly, you want to understand the movements of your mind. That's what is really going to be liberating for the mind. The mind moves around all the time. But we don't see it as it's happening. And sometimes it moves into greed, sometimes it moves into anger, sometimes it moves into delusion. It can get us into all kinds of trouble and cause all kinds of suffering and stress. So we want to be able to catch the movements of the mind before they really get strong that, that way. And if it looks like it's going to, they're going to be unskillful, okay, then you can use the breath, use your stillness to disband them. So I don't have to go there. It's like someone coming up in a car. In the old days, you'd be standing on the side of the road, someone drives up in a car and says, hey, hop in. So you hop in and ride off. And then only then do you ask, well, who are you? Where are we going? That's dangerous. You want to be able to stand by the side of the road and say, okay, who are you? Where do you intend to take me? And you look at the person in the eyes, is somebody trustworthy or not? That's when you're safe. It's the same way with the mind. You want to be able to see the movements of your mind, but that requires not getting into them, having a good, solid place to stay, a place where you feel safe and secure and stable. And then anybody who comes past, you don't have the immediate urge to just jump into whoever's coming by. So you see things more clearly and more in a position of safety as you give the mind a place to stay like this. So it takes some time to create this inner foundation, this home base here. One of the Pali words for the mind in concentration is, is a home for the mind, Vihara Dhamma. So you create a place where you're at home wherever you are because you're right here all the time. That's why the mind is clear and secure, because it understands what's going on. And if something is useful, okay, you take what's useful. If something is not, you can just let it go. And that, save, that saves a lot of grief right there. <laughs>